My name is Gabriel Macias, El Dorado, El Paso, Texas. Six feet tall, 292. I play right guard, right tackle, and center. Shout out to uh, how is Gabriel on and off the field? Gabriel was uh, um, on the field. He's uh, a he's part of the working class. Those guys on the offensive line um, are a different uh, a different group than uh, than anybody else. And uh, Gabriel's uh, the leader of that group, and uh, that, that's just a true uh, part of what, what his character is. He uh, he's an everyday kind of guy, a guy who's going to come to work on time. Gabriel on the field, he's a lot different than he is off the field. Uh, you know, he's he's very tenacious. He's, I like to use the word nasty, I guess. I mean, he's very physical uh, with the way he plays on the offensive line. Um, the thing that I really like about Gabriel is his his ability to bring a physical nature to the game is rubbed off on some of the other offensive linemen, you know, and, and it's really carried us to this point because we are becoming more and more physical uh, from one play to the next, from one series to the next, and uh, obviously from one quarter to the next. But uh, he's definitely a leader. You know, he's the guy that sets the fronts. He's the guy that calls out the fronts. He's real vocal about that. He makes sure everybody's on the same page, and we have to have that on the offensive line in order to be successful. Hi, I'm Erica Lucero, marketing teacher here at El Dorado High School, and I'm here to talk to you about Gabriel Macias. I feel he encompasses everything an athlete should have, not just in the field, but in the classroom. He's innovative, he's a team player, and most important, he has goals. And I feel you need to have those attributes in order to play well in the field. You're a family, not just in the field, but outside of the field. And Gabriel is uh, such a unique individual because he's always trying to unify, uh, whether it's in the classroom or outside in the field, and that's important for any team to have.